Hi everyone, welcome to my second vlog. In this video, I will be showing you my doll process, the new original doll design line and merchandise. Firstly, I'd like to show you my doll process featuring Tamara and Jean. I will start with Tamara using soft pastel blush. She is a chocolate skin tone with sleepy eyes. After the first varnish spray, then I go ahead with using color pencil to do the eyeliner. The same process goes with Jean. Jean is toffee skin tone with normal eyes. The whole process of face ups may take 2 to 3 days, then the last step would be to add gloss varnish. The eyeball size I use for my dolls are 18mm. I like to add the name of the doll on the back of the faceplate, then I add a BJD silicone wig cap size 1 3rd or 8 to 9 inch. With Tamara, I got a faux mohair wig from Natrume and did a small simple ponytail on the side. And with Jean, I got a soft mohair wig from Juicens. I'm fond of this hairstyle. Here's Tamara and Jean's final look. Jean comes with a cropped denim jacket with ties and Tamara comes with a long dusty lilac cardigan. Each doll comes in an outfit set, all made beautifully by Rue de Reve. Once the doll is adopted, I pack it into my bespoke box. Usually, my packing time takes about 1 hour or so, including the certificate and finishing touches. The next process video I want to show is how I created Shaoling. I often get a question on how I get an inspiration. It depends on each doll. Sometimes it's from an outfit that I saw, a season, a name, or something completely different than what I created previously. Sometimes a hairstyle or color could also give me an inspiration. As always, after first initial varnish spray, I start with a soft pastel blush. I wanted to create a different look with Shaoling, a contemporary take on Chinese style using cyan, blue, and magenta to match the Chongsam dress.
also using the same color combination, illustrating her name on the back plate. Then I add glitters on the face, as well as doing more pencil work on the eyelashes and the eyebrows. These beautiful shoes were handmade by Doll by Norris. I thought the pink flowers against the blue pattern is really delicate. Lastly, gloss varnish is added to complete the face up. I think it's my favorite part of the face-up process. Time to put shelling together. For the eyeballs, there are different methods, but I like using MAC silicone putty earplugs. I stretch them first and apply it around the eyeball. I then apply the wig cap and her wig. Then I styled her pigtails with matching pink wrinkle ribbons. Here's Shaolin final look, complete with her melancholic gaze. In this part of the video, I'd like to show you a complimentary merchandise that I created. You can use Dream Doll Sketchpad to sketch out ideas, whether it's for fun or before you commit to create a doll. The template is based on my original doll design, and there are about 50 pages on each pad. The size is A5 or the size of two postcards. If you're interested in purchasing, the link is down below. And now, it's time for behind the scenes. Thanks so much for watching my second vlog. If you're interested to find out more about my dolls, feel free to contact me. All of the information is down below. Please subscribe to my channel for more vlogs in the future. Bye!